I happen to be a royal watcher, so anytime Prince William or Kate Middleton uh, comes out with something, I'm like, what's happening? And right now, that's what's happening. Sloan Glass is here for our latest entertainment headlines. Okay, what, what is he saying? I am also the biggest fan of the royals. Yes! So I love hearing that. Well, we all know that space tourism has become the latest frontier for the ultra elite. And this week, William Shatner became the oldest person to go to space. The 90-year-old actor was aboard Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin rocket. However, there is at least one A-lister who won't be jumping on board anytime soon. Prince William has royally decided that not only is it not on his bucket list, but maybe it shouldn't be on yours either. The future king spoke to BBC's newscast and blasted entrepreneurs for engaging in space tourism rather than saving our planet. We need some of the world's greatest brains and minds fixed on trying to repair this planet, not trying to find the next place to go and live. William also said for his father, who's been an activist for climate change, it's been a hard road for him. He's had a really rough ride on that. And I think, you know, he's been proven to be well ahead of the curve, um, well beyond his time. Not to pick sides here, but I've already invested a lot of time into planet Earth. And get ready to romanticize a love you never even had. Adele has announced her first studio album in six years. 30 will drop November 19th. Our first taste of Adele's long-awaited return will come tonight with the release of Easy On Me, the first single from the album. Now she blessed us with a little sneak peek on Instagram. Adele is known for naming her LPs the age she is while writing the song. So let's talk about what happened between ages 25 and 30. She got married, had a son, and filed for divorce. The singer is calling this the most turbulent period of my life. But in the words of Kanye West, art comes from pain. And the last duel, what could go wrong? Matt Damon clad in a mullet. Ben Affleck is blonde and all the medieval moments you could imagine. 23 years after they joined the screen together for Goodwill Hunting, fans are always excited to see the duo collaborate. This time, they're joined by Jodie Comer and Adam Driver. 20th Century Studios writes, The Last Duel is a gripping tale of betrayal and vengeance set against the brutality of 14th century France. And many are saying that this is a film where medieval and Me Too clash. Take a look. I request a duel to the death. If you lose, your wife will suffer dire consequences. One of us has lied. Let us let God decide. The film will arrive to theaters tomorrow. <laughs> and this is another only in theaters event, so all eyes are going to be on the box office. And a way for people to kind of make their way back into yes. the theaters. Uh, the movie uh, industry obviously decimated uh, during the pandemic. So I'm glad. I'm yeah. glad that somebody's coming up with some out. creative ideas.